Hello, welcome to the episode of Life in Kaohsiung Senior High School. I'm your host, Jie Tong. The topic for today's show is the buildings and memories of students in Kaohsiung Senior High School. I have three special guests on the show. Zhi Qian, Zhi Tai, and Bo Ting. Hi. So let's welcome the first guest, Zhi Qian, to share the buildings and memories of Kaohsiung Senior High School. Okay, the sixth building is the one with the most students. Although it looks old, it is used as an assembly hall for important exams every time. Additionally, I heard that the basement used to sell buffet meals over a decade ago. In my first year of high, my high school, my classroom was at the second floor of the sixth building. I felt pretty cozy while studying there because they were quiet. In some, the sixth building is everyone's memory. It looks like the wonderful memory in the first grade. And next, we move to the fourth building in grade two. We have a lot of activities in grade two, such as some competitions. Also, the academic stress gets higher in grade two. And next, let's move to the third building, Zitai. For me, the most remarkable building in KSHS is Building 3. It not only preserves many of our memories, but also supports us during the most challenging period of our exams. There are some pros and cons on studying in Building 3. The senior environment enables us to focus on our studies, and its historical significance is apparent. However, it is very inconvenient because there is no toilet in the building. Next, the most memorable buildings in KSHS, the welfare shop, Bo Ting. The most memorable place in this school for me is the Hongyi building, where the welfare shop is located. The welfare shop is an important corner of the school, always crowded during breaks. Here, we can buy various delicious snacks and drinks to replenish energy. During lunch times, lunch boxes are also provided for students to fill their stomachs. The welfare shop also offers many stationary items at the price lower than market rates, which students often purchase when needed. After school, the second floor of the Hongyi building becomes a self-study room, where many students preparing for exam study. During the winter and summer vacations, Students also gather in the Hongyi building if a student's semester grades are below 60 points. The Hongyi building becomes the examination room for make-up exams, allowing students to improve their grades. The different buildings in KSHS associated with our campus life. And a month later, we are going to leave our high school with these wonderful memories and we are going to meet our bright future. Goodbye.